The purpose of this video is to show you how to demonstrate to your customers the differences of a sun power solar cell versus all the other conventional cells on the market. I'm going to perform a video role play with Zach, my customer, to give you an idea on how you want to demonstrate it with your customers. So Zach, interestingly enough, all of my customers are concerned about the quality and the life of their solar systems. You know, when you think about it, after all, a, a solar system is only as good as the cells upon which it is built. And interestingly enough, also, your roof happens to be an unbelievably hostile environment. The temperature variations can swing from a sunny 150 degrees down to 30 degrees at night. These temperature swings can cause the metal to expand and contract with the cold. <clears throat> the conventional cells are made actually with a silver metal paste which is screen printed like a t-shirt onto the silicon cell. Then eventually the ribbon connects all of these cells together. The sun during the day bears down on these metal ribbons and expands those ribbons. They then seem to fight with the silicon. And this stress can cause cracking in the circuitry, as you can imagine. In contrast, the sun power cell is built on a very strong copper foundation. It's coated with tin, and this circuitry is also on the cool and backside of the actual cell itself. So let me show you the difference between the two cells. I put both in a plastic bag so that it can protect us from the silicon because it can be dangerous. Let me begin by bending the sun power cell. As you notice, as I bend this cell, I can bend it quite a bit. It's quite flexible. But as I keep bending, it cracks. Now the interesting thing about this is that even though it's broken, or it appears to be broken, the circuitry is completely intact. And this cell still produces power, which is kind of amazing. Let me just take a look at the conventional cell. Watch as I bend this the same way. Oh. And this is what happens. Okay, it is rigid, it cracks into splinters. So my question to you is, how can electricity then flow through this cell? And this basically, the reason I did this is because it demonstrates the real life damage which occurs to solar cells. Okay, but this shows you why the sun power cells are different from all other cells on the market. But it's not only different, it's ultimately better. So here are some tips for conducting the actual customer demonstration. The conventional circuitry is made of silver metal paste, which is screen printed onto silicon. The vertical ribbons are also printed copper paste onto that same silicon. When demonstrating, be sure to keep each cell in the plastic bag provided in the demo kit, because broken cells are sharp as glass. When demonstrating also, hold each cell by the corners and bend it in f with the front of the cell away from you. The reason that you hold the cell corners and bend it is that it replicates the real life damage and also the silicon cracks in that direction. Conclude the demonstration by connecting the sun power cell to the long life and reliability of the system. That's why SunPower Warranty is 25 years.